Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please, leave what does not. We have master. It says discipline, working smart. Hmm. Okay, let me get something with this master or like master card or something. Let me get something here. We have person of air. An air sign here. This is somebody that's very wise about something, very educated. Okay. Maybe somebody that's very calculated. Somebody that's rational. But they're very skilled here. And it says grapes, abundance, bearing fruit. It looks like somebody is great at what they do here. Somebody could even be like a master communicator of some sort. But it's something where like this is like, you know, the fruits, the grapes, the, the fruit of life, the bearing fruit. OK, the fruits of your labor, all of that good stuff. Baggage here. Wow. Excess unresolved issues. Hmm, next phase. Somebody's going on a journey here. Somebody might need to drop the baggage or release some issues or something like that and like go on the next part of this journey, preparing to go to the next phase here. Somebody's definitely a master at what they do. That's what I'm seeing here. Let me get something here. We have summer solstice here. Something is about to change in the summer here. Let me get something with this summer solstice. We have full moon. Wow, summer solstice and full moon here. Maybe the first full moon in the summer solstice. Okay, let me see. Let me get something with this full moon. We have the nine of cups energy here. This is going to be like what you've waited for, or this is like, this is really feeling good. This is being content, like on the inside with like, there could have been somebody that maybe you got your master's degree, or maybe you got bachelor's, you got something here that's going to have you making a lot of money here, but it looks like someone's going to be leaving. Like someone, I don't know if somebody's leaving their house, leaving an old job, something here is happening in the summer. We're still in winter right now, so we still got spring to go, but it's something here. Nine of Cups definitely happening in the summer here. It's not coming out here for no reason. Wow, Ten of Swords. This is the final chapter of some sort. Wow. Okay, let me get something here. Hmm, should I use these cards? No, this is something that feels more positive. Let me get something here. Okay, what is this? We have the Ace of Pentacles. Is this like a new job? This is a new offering. This is a new opportunity. There's something coming in from God. This is Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles comes from beyond. I mean, Ace of anything comes from beyond. And we got the Emperor. Somebody about to be the CEO of some type of company, or you about to be the head, or you about to be the main person, or you about to be like the shit. Like, really, Ace of Pentacles and the Emperor, you've got to be like, <laughs> this is about to be a big change for somebody. We have Justice here, Aries and Libra here. And you know what? The, the North Node is in Aries and the South Node is in Libra right now. And Ace of Pentacles, there's some type of opportunity coming or it's going to begin, it's going to start, it's going to be, I'm trying to tell you, Aries, Libra energy. And those are opposite signs also. 
What is this at the bottom? We got the six of pentacles. They're going to give you what you worth. This is going to be fair. This is going to be everything that you've wanted, everything that you've waited for here. Okay. Let me get something here. Somebody going to have to root like, I don't know. They're going to have to lighten a load or they're going to have to do something here where like you don't have a lot of bags because it's about to be the end of some shit right here. We have the Ace of Cups energy here. Wow. Cups and Pentacles. We got that Ten of Sword over here, but that's something that's just completely ending here. That's just letting me know. Yeah, that whatever this is. And plus, this is a it says a person of air. So this is an air sign. This would be the king of, of uh, swords here. Somebody has a very important job. And you about to end something because you have a more important position. You're like a master of this. Something where it can be like communicating something. It could even be like, I mean, music is a form of communication also. I would more so say if it was a person of water, like you say, this it says person of air, like this is like King of Sword. If it was like King of Cups, I would definitely say it's something artistic. But like a person of air, it's like a person of air, let's say it was music. A person of air could use uh, music to heal. They could use it as some type of intellectual kind of thing it's something intellectual here let me get something with this ace of cups here we have the eight of swords energy here wow maybe it was like something has been held back from you like you feel like you didn't have access to it or some type of healing like this healing is coming from god let me get something with this eight of sword energy here we have the Six of Cups energy. It's like, wow, I do feel like somebody was held back from love. Somebody was held back from like real deep feelings and connections and everything. Because this, like I said, is something where it's like either somebody is an air sign or somebody's like emotionally, I don't know, like unemotional, maybe like possibly cold. Maybe I'm, you know, I'm just saying like un, the usual uh, King of Sword would be that and I feel like somebody has been held back from the real healing that needed to take place but it's about to take place because you're a master of something like an old life is about to be done and you're going to need to lighten your load here you're probably going to be leaving moving traveling or something because the baggage is here let me get something with this Ace of Cups energy here hope what is this we got the lover's card here, Gemini energy. Yeah, these could be people that you work with. These could be people, someone that you're meeting. Maybe a relationship is coming into your life here. It doesn't have to be intimate. Like it really could be something that's business motivated. It's something here about healing and making you feel emotionally fulfilled and like you're actually doing something. It's something where you're gonna have abundance. You're gonna have plenty. It's gonna be an overindulgence of whatever this is. And it's something that's coming in the summer here. Something's going that's going to be illuminated where you're going to know, okay, yeah, this is the end of that. Or this is the end of that life. Or this is the end of that job. Or this is the end of feeling in some type of way where it's not good. We have the Seven of Cups energy. Yeah, somebody may have been, okay. Oh, we got the World card out here. Okay. It was kind of in reverse, but hell no. Nah. Kind of. And let me look at the rest of these real quick. We got Judgment, Ten of Pentacles. Nah, this is something good right here. This is something that's pending. It was like halfway, okay? It was something, this is something that's pending. There's a cycle that's about to be closed for real. Magician. So you got Judgment, Ten of Pentacles, Magician, Four of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Eight of Cups. I'm telling you, it's very unexpected that you're about to walk away. It's unexpected a lot of things. You're about to walk away and you're about to be financially stable. <laughs> Like somebody's choosing themselves. Somebody might be graduating something because it says master and it says person of air. Like somebody that's good in their mind. And it says grapes. Like somebody about to get a real good job and you about to leave. Look, I'm screaming for somebody. I'm screaming for somebody. Since the world card, you know what? I'm going to put the world card back and I'm going to pull one more card. Since that came out with a whole bunch of other cards. Let me get one with this six of cups energy here. One with the Six of Cups, and we got the Queen of Pentacles here. 
Wow, some type of earth sign also? Or somebody just getting paid or somebody being like really connected with people or other people that's like them? It's something where it's, you can't mistake this feeling or these connections or something like that. Like, And then we got the King of Cups. Mm -hmm. It's something about connections here. I think somebody's going from a King of Sword to a King of Cups. Like, not to say that somebody's not going to be King of Sword anymore, because you never, like, how can I say, you don't forget the things that you learn and the things that you mastered and things like that. But, like, I think it's more important for somebody to learn how to open their heart and be around people with an open heart. I think that's, like, the most important thing here. It's like money and love. Let me see. Get something with this. Oh, no, I'm going to use these. Let me get something with this Ace of Cups here. Okay. We have the Strength card here. Leo Energy. Strength card. Pulling on Inner Strength here. And it says the Two of Sword. Maybe somebody's... Somebody might, how can I say this? It feels like somebody's likely to not know what to do. But I do feel like this is a divine love. Like this is something that's coming from God is being given to you. Like there are people in this world that, how can I say, they have healed. Or maybe they don't come from the same place as you. Or maybe they didn't go through the same things. It's like there are different people here. You know, it's not to say that people don't go through things, but like not everybody comes out the same. And that's what I'm seeing here. Somebody needs to like give something a chance in the summer because it's going to be very, um, I want to say promising in a way, but let me get something after this to a sword before I even say anything. Yeah, we got the Hierophant energy here. Something about having a title, like maybe you're going to work for some type of institution. Maybe you're scared about working for this institution or... Like somebody thinks you're very strong or something like that, or they're going to find strength in you. You got the Queen of Sword here. Wow, Hierophant and then the Queen of Sword. And we already got, it's, it just says Person of Air. So this could be King or Queen of Sword here. It's something where like maybe you're going to feel like you can't do something, but that's not absolutely true. Like... Oh my goodness, this is somebody that's gonna show interest. They're going to show interest and you're probably gonna be very reluctant in some kind of way, but it's gonna be kind of unfounded. It's gonna be something where like, maybe you went through something in the past and it's, see, that's the thing. That's why people gotta heal because when real things come in, you can't fuck it up. You have the emperor here out here for the second time and it's here with the six of cups. So it's somebody, it's like, it's some type of partnership here. Somebody finds interest in you. Somebody's going to find interest in in your skill, in your presence, perhaps, because I got the Queen of Wands here also. Maybe this is their presence because it's Emperor and Queen of Wands here. So it could be like a fire sign. Hmm. Let me get something here with this. Oh, did I drop a card? Yes, I did. Okay, can I get this? Where'd it go? Okay, here we go. We got the Queen of Pentacles energy here. Okay, let me get something with this Queen of Pentacles here. Earth sign. Oh, yeah, we got the Queen of Pentacles out here twice. And we got the Seven of Pentacles here. It's like something about building this partnership, building a, a resume, building, a, building something up here. Hmm... like not giving up and then we got the emperor so we got the emperor out here twice we got the emperor i mean we got the emperor out here twice we got the empress on top of the seven of cups let me get something here someone might feel like you're either a good replacement you will be a good partner in something you know how like the ceos are looking for the right person to replace it maybe it's something like that Let me get something. We have the Six of Cups energy here. 
the same six of cups that's up there the six of cups and the emperor six of, um look yeah and i just heard a confirmation in my phone my phone is over here in my pocket i gotta put this thing right here because i just heard it look we got the six of cups and the emperor and we got the six of cups and the empress wow except this empress over here is on top of the seven of cups so somebody is kind of thinking that like maybe there is something deeper to you or maybe like maybe they're about to make you partner of something or they're about to bring you all. look i don't know who this reading is for it's probably not everybody look we got the page of cups energy here i really feel like this is coming perhaps from an earth sign i don't know if it's an earth sign it's somebody with money i do know that and it's somebody that's going to open your heart but it's going to start with like some type of money some type of career situation or something and we got the three of cups we got three cups in a row six of cups page of cups three of cups energy like they really feel like loving a loving energy towards you like they want to work with you they love you they want to show you this love it's like it's not just about the facts it is about the facts it is about knowing your shit but it's it's something more to it what's with this king of cups we have the hermit virgo energy here virgo energy here let me get something here okay i'm dropping cards oh man twin flame what is this i'm dropping more cards elephant okay i gotta pick these cards up because i'm pretty sure this one over here is a little bit important let me see what this is if i can grab it okay we got geese elephant and geese everything that i'm seeing has two people in it you got twin flames somebody's light somebody's dark you got elephant we got somebody small somebody big and we got geese well actually there's three geese in in this right here it says 11 11 13 and 14 okay and both of these are aces there's something about ace like like for real like soulmate yin yang energy type shit mirroring energy like somebody feels this i'm trying to tell you mars the ruler of destruction look no this is also about assertion somebody's going to assert their energy perhaps or this is something about like sudden change it's some type of action that's going to change everything i'm trying to tell you let me get something with this twin flames was the first thing that came out divine partner here activated heart chakra i didn't even see that activated heart chakra y'all oh my goodness we have leo energy here let me get something with this leo energy didn't i get leo in no i think i did didn't i get the strength card yeah i got the strength card up there okay hmm something that's like something about like uh majestic energy or regalness something about high self-esteem or like you should be treated as a king or a queen or something like that somebody's gonna do this shit let me get something with this lion confirmation mm -hmm. somebody's gonna do this shit what is this with this lion we got compass okay it could be something about direction it says true north or discovery life path seeking your truth here knowing where you're going look i think it's something where you've been led to this person number 22 also you've been led to this person perhaps or led to some type of legacy here it says fixed hmm it also says conservative someone you can count on reliable confident here purpose driven like somebody could be fixed on something what is this here let me get something else with this this could also be a fixed sign so i guess that would be taurus libra uh scorpio and aquarius if i'm not mistaken let me get something with this okay we got two cards here child and wolverine here something about maybe be okay child says beginning innocent um inexperienced new perspective but it also says wolverine here something that's fierce wild okay assertive fearless it's like i feel like somebody is seeing all of this within you like it's it's great to be like talented but it's a different thing when someone appreciates that someone is guided towards you someone wants to be there with you for you like 
I'm just saying, what's this at the bottom here? It says broom, remove unwanted stuff. Didn't I say that when I seen the baggage? I said somebody needs to, you know, lighten a load or something like that. It says uh, remove unwanted stuff, purging, a clean sweep, delete, total makeover, unavoidable. Uh, it could even be something restoring harmony. This is also number 11 here. And you got 1111 where it says to inflame confirmation y'all <laughs> i'm just saying it's gonna be something in the summer it's not even a joke it says third person another person of all someone else is influenced maybe you're gonna meet them through somebody else i'm trying to tell you look let me get an angel message we have earth and ground Something about being ready. And y'all seen how that uh, Ace of Pentacles moved over, right? I seen that it says manifestation, earth and ground. And manifestation is something here that you're bringing in. You're bringing in and you need to be prepared for what you are bringing in. I'm just saying. But I'm going to leave it right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your like, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.